the Cronkies have been fantastic. They've been backing the Edu, backing Ateda. We have to give them their flowers. So let's return back to Bakary Saka's contract. Now, I hope in the contract, this is a five plus one. Don't, I don't want it to, to come out when it officially signed that this is a four plus one. For us not to pay that kind of money, which is premium, which is very... That, that is huge. And that's a good uh, contract for Bukayo Saka. We know uh, there's nothing, in my opinion, that can stop for not qualifying for the Champions League. We might not win the league, even though I'm very optimistic we'll win the league. Uh, paying that kind of money to Saka, that has to include bonuses, Champions League, involvement, playing... Like Other journalists in the game, uh, Sammy McBell tweeted, Bukayo Saka's pending new deal with Arsenal will be worth £15 million a season to underline his, his standing as one of the best talents in European football. If you break that down, uh, that will make it £300,000 per week, which is a huge sum to invest in a young 21-year-old talent. Uh, do they deserve it? I think so. If you want to retain Europe's best talent, England's best talent, you have to pay the premium. You you cannot penny pinch. See, gone are the days where you can use player loyalty, who tell him talent, he loves us, nice and that's not kid. Yes, it, all those things can play into it, but you should have to play, pay these players the going rate. And the going rate is for those kind of talent who are on the peripheral of being world class. You have to pay them to keep them. I'm not saying uh, Saka is greedy. No. It's the going rate. Top talents like that, you have to pay them. And I'm going to use this opportunity to give the flowers to the crown case. See, Arsenal fans are keen and very quick to put their victories towards the crown case. But when it's time to give them their flowers, they, they, they just keep quiet, which is ridiculous. This is not Edo's money. Don't tell me about your miserable derisory season ticket you pay. That, that cannot pay the kind of fees the modern player or, or the kind of wages the modern player is requesting for. So let's stop that nonsense. The Cronkies have been fantastic. They've been backing the Edo, backing Ateda. We have to give them their flowers. So let's return back to Bakary Saka's contract. Now, I hope in the contract, this is a five plus one. Don't, I don't want it to, to come out when it officially signed that this is a four plus one. For us not to pay that kind of money, which is premium, which is very... That, that is huge. And that's a good uh, contract for Bukayo Saka. We know uh, there's nothing, in my opinion, that can stop us from not qualifying for the Champions League. We might not win the league, even though I'm very optimistic we'll win the league. Uh, paying that kind of money to Saka, that has to include bonuses, Champions League, involvement, playing... Other uh, the FA Cup because if if you look at the team right, Saka has been one of the uh first team uh well, first names on on the team sheet. He's always playing. He's never injured aside from the game. I think against Nottingham Forest, which had that kick and he was out for a few days, was back. Saka is well available. This season he has played in the Carling Cup, he has played in the FA Cup, Europa League, and he has played all twenty eight league games we had this season. You look at uh, the only player that has played more minutes than Bukayo Saka is Gabriel Magalhães. Saka has played a total of two twenty-four. Uh, he has played two thousand four hundred ten minutes in the English Premiership. The only person that surpasses that, like I said, is Gabriel Magalhães, who has played roughly uh, twenty-five hundred minutes. So Saka is ever present. He's never injured. He doesn't complain. Even though he's being kicked, he's being ruffled and tumbled, he's ever constant. So he deserves to be remunerated and rewarded very well. And he's a, see, attacking players get the best. They, we know football is about scoring goals, right? So the premium payment always goes to the attacking players. I'm not saying you should pay midfielders and defenders well, but the game is about scoring goals. And Saka this season has 12 goals and 10 assists. That's fantastic. He has been increasing his output from season to season. Saka has been play on this level for the last two and a half to three years. Always improving year by year. So he deserves this contract. He deserves it. Even though it has not been signed officially, for me, Saka deserves this contract. Uh, there is no better player on the right wing in Europe than Bukayo Saka at the moment. No better winger on the right wing than Bukayo Saka. For, for England, 
is ripping it apart. For Asna, he's doing the same thing. It, it was great at the, I won't say great, it was very good at the World Cup in the Europa, uh, the Europa, what they called, uh, for at, what, what they call it, European Championship for England, even though he missed that penalty, he was it was good. Uh, in the Europa League, it wasn't as great as as is playing. It was playing in the English Premiership, but he was doing his bit. So I expect more. Uh, all I put a great performance on Bakayo Saka, and I expect to move it to the next level next season. And I would not be surprised if he rips the Champions League apart. But Saka is still twenty one; he is not even close to his prime. So expect more from Bakayo Saka, and I, I'm. I'll say congratulations to Bakayo Saka, and I, I'm sure Arsenal fans will have will love this news. This is good news. Let's not forget those days we couldn't keep our star players. Now we are able to keep our star players. And we have to give, like I said, give the kudos back to the crown case. When we couldn't keep our star players, a lot of, a lot of your casting has passion on the crown case. Now that they are paying, paying up and they are actually competing with the likes of Manchester City in terms of widgets, you still need to give them their flowers, regardless of your prejudice, right? You, you have to give them their flowers. You, you have to be very, very objective. So, Bukai Saka, hopefully this can be signed before the end of the season, and hopefully we can win the league. This will make it a fantastic celebration. Matanile has this signed. Bukai is on the verge of signing. Soliba is next. We are hearing hints of news that Soliba is close to an agreement too. Everything is looking great for Arteta, Plodi, uh, for Arsenal and plus rumors to Declan Rice this summer is looking like Arsenal on the are on the corpse of greatness. So let me know your opinion on this back Saka deal. Like I said, I don't want to hear a four plus one. I want it to be at least a five year deal plus one additional uh, uh, optional year uh, uh, uh additional optional year. Like we know the regular thing we hear most of the time is a four plus one. I want a five plus one. This is two hundred k per year. He will become the highest paid player in Arsenal's team at the moment. So, ahead of Jesus. So, we need to actually actually pay him well. And he used to give us more committed years in those deals. So, let me know what you think about this deal. Are you excited? Do you think you're overpaying Bakayo Saka? Or do you think he deserves it? Let me know in the comment section. If you are, if you love my content and you're not subscribed, come on. Do the, do the needful. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you stick a like on the video. Very, very important for the growth of the channel and the upgrading. And do not forget to turn on, turn on your notification bell. Very, very important. And I'll see you guys on the next one.